Hello friends, welcome to another video of our step-by-step -step Tableau tutorial for data analysis and visualization. In this video, you are going to learn about what is box plot. So, and how to plot a box plot in Tableau. As you can see from the diagram, uh, in this diagram, you can see a box plot is a graph that gives you a good indication of how the values in the data are spread out. Box plot is also known as box and whisker plot and it is used to show the distribution of values along an axis. A box plot is used to visualize five values in data set for the selected columns. First is the minimum value. Suppose you have selected one column Let's say there are 50 students in a class and every student has got some marks. So suppose we are talking about a, we are talking about a subject called physics. So every student has got some particular marks in physics out of 100. So the student who has got minimum number of marks will be on minimum. The student who has got maximum marks, suppose some student, uh, let's let's say uh, the minimum marks that have been uh, scored by any particular student are 67 out of 100. This is the minimum marks in, the, in that class and the maximum marks are let's say 98 out of 100. So these are the minimum and maximum values. Then we have median or average value, which will be the average of all the marks divided by 50 as there are 50 students in the class, means sum of all the marks divided by 50. We know how to calculate average. And then there is first quartile, which is also known as 25%, median or second quartile, which is also known as 50%, and then there is third quartile or 75% which are known as Q1, Q3 and then there is maximum value. The, these points as you can see here are these lines of the data that is here. It is called whisker here and between Q1 and Q3 the range is known as interquartile range. So if you are familiar with histogram or distribution plots, so box plot is also one kind of distribution plot we can say. It just gives some idea about how the distribution of values are. Now we will see one example uh, in Tableau so th then we can understand box plot in a better way. So here is our Tableau public and in Tableau public now we are going to load Excel data. The file that uh, we will be connecting in this chapter is sample superstore Excel. So this is sample superstore.excel file. We will open it. Again, uh, with every chapter in the resources segment, you can find these files. And I will also create a specific video in which you will get information of how to download these files. That will be video will be second or third in the chapters so, so that you can get that file. So I guess you already know how to get this particular file. And if you are viewing any particular chapter, so in your chapter just below here in the resources part, you can find these files just for making it clear. Now all the files are now files file has been read by Tableau here. And now in this file, there are three sheets. Now we will select the orders sheet and drag it to the tables part here. Now we have our data and now we will go to sheet. So 
in this sheet as we have discussed earlier also our table has now measures and dimensions all sorted out so this line here has divided measures and dimensions in now we have to draw a box and whisker plot and for drawing a box and whisker plot th th this is you can see um, here in the show me part or the graph part you will see box and whisker plots so for that you can see you have to use zero or more dimensions but you have to get one particular measure you have to use at least one dimension or disaggregate so you have to select one one or more measures here and the description is also given here so here is something that that will help you the mark type can be circle or in the columns shelf you have to use dimension in the row shelf you have to use measure and in the details you have to use dimension now let's see what we are going to drag here from sample superstores data so here uh, you can see uh, in this data we have segment so first we will drag these segment dimension to columns segment is a dimension here because it is listed in the dimensions part so we will drag uh, this segment dimension to columns so drag segment to columns now you will see uh, that there are three segments so we have various products here and these are our three main consumer segments or you can say segments one is consumer second is corporate and third is home or office now let's say uh, we want to see uh, what discount has been given to these segments so now we are going to drag discount to rows and discount will be in our measures part so in rows you have to give discount and now you can see in this part by default we have a bar chart the default chart type when there is a dimension on the column shelf and measure on the row shelf the default uh, graph is bar chart but you you can also see there is box and whisker plot also because in box and whisker plot we we must have zero or more dimensions and one or more measures so we have zero or more dimensions here and one or more measures here that's why uh, we have this now what we are going to do here and uh, we are going to drag region uh, dimension to the columns we have some region here also we, there are different type of regions we have seen them in previous videos also and we are going to create some more columns here so first we have segments like consumer segment corporate segment and home and office segment and this is the sum of discount that is given to all these segments here but now we are going to drag a region here also and we are going to drag region to the columns part we are going to create more regions so as you can see uh, we have four regions as per our data you can see here as per our data the in the regions part when you will go to this regions part we have south west east and these are the regions that we have now uh, first of all i will rename my sheet to box and whisker plot let's keep the variable as it is box and whisker plot apply okay so this is a box and whisker plot sorry for that you can give you can make it bold you can increase the font size apply okay now 
now you can see the data that we have for consumer segment how much discount has been given to each region so as you can see in consumer segment the maximum discount is in central region and we can sort values also so now the values are sorted and you can see the maximum discount is given in the consumer region, uh, consumer segment itself so this part is done now now from this uh, graph selection part or show me part you can simply select this box and whisker plot and here you can see for F, this is now segment here and we now have segment and sum of discount here and you can see here when you will take your mouse on any graph here so you can see upper whisker what is the value of upper whisker upper hinge median lower hinge and lower whisker so here upper hinge is uh, similar to upper quartile or the third quartile or the 75 percentile and lower hinge is equal to the first quartile which we discussed in the diagram that we were discussing earlier so this is the diagram so we have upper whisker lower whisker upper quartile lower quartile and these are being called as hinges here and for consumer corporate and home office segment this is the discount as you can see we have some range here when we change the data from bar to this uh, box in whisker so you can see region which was there in the columns part has now been shifted to the marks part here so tableau has automatically determined what the individual marks should represent here and you can see this is south west east and uh, central the discounts here are being represented by marks here so one more thing is uh, here the aggregate value is sum you can also see the average value here the average value of discounts so this is the average value of discounts and now the data is changed so you can change your aggregate value from this simple drop down here and going to you can select median count count distinct so we will switch between either sum or average here so we will use average here this time now we want to see the data as it was earlier that means for every segment there were four regions and for every region there was a bar so because while creating a box in whisker plot region was automatically dragged to this marks card so you can see in marks we have this region in the detail part so now what we are going to do here we will drag it back to columns so now you are just seeing these flat lines here which is simply representing the average value of discount for central east south and west region so these are simply flattened box plots because these are based on a single mark we are not seeing distribution of data here we are not seeing distribution of data because data is aggregated here you can see the we are seeing average discounts here in analysis part 
you have these aggregate measures so aggregate measures are on that's why we are seeing these flattened box plot kind of things for every region we are seeing this we want to see distribution of data so let's do one thing we will now switch off the aggregate measures and now as we have switched off the aggregate measures so now you can see for every segment for every region now we have box plots so you can see for what is the distribution of data for consumer segment and central region what is the distribution of data for consumer segment and east region for south region and different things are here so this is something that you can do to create box and whisker plots now uh, there is one more thing whenever you will see diagrams of box and whisker plot most of the cases you will see box and whisker plots in horizontal uh, axis means currently we have box and whisker plots in vertical format this will be in horizontal format so in tableau you can change suppose there is bar vertical by default bar is vertical so you can change bar to horizontal also if you are familiar with tab a bit familiar with python pandas or maybe r so there are different type of graphs like bar and bar h so similarly here also if you have to change from horizontal to vertical there is this uh, icon which is called swap here so click it and now it will change the axis as you can see from the icon if you will click it again it will change it so remember this this is used to swap rows and columns again if you are using a uh, windows operating system you can press control plus w to do this now you can see we have uh, this here and now you can see the same graph in horizontal pattern suppose you have to uh, show some different colors here for that you can right click here and you can use edit reference line here and from this reference line you can see the fill color is used as light gray you can choose any particular color here let's choose this we are using red here you can use green blue whatever you want to use that is border this is the width of border that we are using here and this is the width of whiskers so you can change everything here we are keeping everything as default and just filling with red color here you can try uh, you can try different things here and now you can see box and whisker plot so go ahead try this and follow this step by step you will be able to create box plots if similar data comes to you while working so in that data you can always uh, drag one measure to the columns part in the rows part you can drag different type of dimensions and definition for if if you don't remember definition for everything is given right here you need one or more measures particularly distribution of data can be uh, seen you you want to see distribution of data you must have at least one measure you want to see how that particular measure is distributed in the entire data so th this is how you can uh, use box and whisker plot